You guys, I am in gorgeous Oman, and it is 126 degrees right now. By the way, happy 4th of July. I've got red on, because go America. It's 126 degrees, and I'm in a hoodie because this is a Muslim country. And although I could wear a bathing suit, I would be extremely uncomfortable because all the women are completely covered. I am at my hotel right now and I'm very excited to show you guys around Country 129. There are some people coming over here. To let you guys know that there is a website sale on my website, travelyoung.org site-wide sale everything is 75 to 80 percent off so if you are wanting to get anything from my website today would be the day happy independence day to all my fellow americans and i'm very excited to show you around my country around country 129 not my country and there are people staring at me so i should probably get up there's people coming over here the shoes are dirty i gotta get off this beach and go clean my shoes. So, yeah. You guys, I'm in the gorgeous. Abu Dhabi airport again we are back a little deja vu this is one of the most beautiful airports in the world and one of the most clean the cleanest I don't know if it's named the cleanest but it's one of the top cleanest airports in the world um, just absolutely gorgeous you could eat off the floor darling you could literally eat off the floor um, yeah, I'm on my way to my 129th country. I'm very excited. I just did some duty free shopping, got some makeup. And I don't board for another hour and a half, so I'm kind of just wasting time. Right now, I went to the duty free and I got some makeup. This is what I got a Pat McGrath eyeliner and a palette that's really really pretty i also got one of my favorite body scrubs yeah i'm wasting time because uh we got a minute we got a minute i'm one of those early airport girls because i used to be the exact opposite i used to be one of the people who was at the airport the last minute <laughs> I have a friend of mine, he's very, very dark, very black. Yeah. Nearly to turn to blue. Right, yeah. Uh, mother, father, all of them black. Uh -huh. Mother in law, father in law, grandfather, all, the whole family history, uh -huh. they're black. Yeah. What's the problem? He has uh, five kids. You know? Yeah. Four of them black, the junior is blonde, last one. Really? Uh, I said to my friend, come on. Something wrong with your wife? Hey, he said, no, my wife is honest. Come on, don't say that. I trust my wife. She doesn't say nonsense. It's a long story. I said, come on, tell me the long story. What's the story? Why the last uh, kid is, you know, blonde? Right. He said, yeah, you know, when I got married, I was very active. That's why my first child was okay. Second child, yes, except my wife. Third one, I tried hard, you know. Uh -huh. It's become okay. Fourth one, yeah, it was, you know, difficult. Finally, I made it. Then you know what happened for the last kid? Right. I ran out of my ink and collection pen. Now I'm out. Mm. <laughs> if I see a speed bump the street, I'm always stopping, going out of my vehicle, mm -hmm. checking. Maybe my black friend sleeping naked in the street. <laughs> Hello? Are you there? <laughs> you know what? <laughs> you guys, you are like penguins. 
I know. Let me take any side for you. Oh, Thank you. You guys, you guys, I'm in Oman and uh, today is the first day that I'm going to go out and about. Um, I'm very excited. Uh, I have a lot of first impressions I'm going to tell you guys about later, but uh, I want to get to the mall um, pretty early, so... So here's my outfit for today. I've got on this Skims top and my favorite jeans of all time that I wear like probably two or three times a week because <laughs> they're just my favorite jeans ever. I've got on this little belt. I don't have shoes on yet. I've got slippers and this cute purse. That's my look for today. Simple. I think I'm going to put on some shoes, <laughs> either my Adidas shoes or something. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. I'm staying at the Kapinski Hotel. It's gorgeous. Uh, I'll show you even though it's all dirty. <laughs> I don't think I showed you guys when I first got here, so let me show you really quickly. So you come in, my slippers are squeaking, and oh gosh, like I said, it's all dirty. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm gonna show you guys when it's clean. But that's the bathroom, the mirror, my bed, and yeah, that's it. And I got a really nice view. And I'll show you guys, there's a beach out here and everything, which is why I wanted to stay here, so. Okay, you guys, I'm in the mall, and this mall looks exactly like the Mall of Egypt. There is a mall. I believe they made this mall too, it's called Mall of Egypt in Cairo, and it looks exactly like this. Almost identical. Same vibe, same store setup. They have the same Zara. Everything's the same. All the stores are the same. <laughs> I'm going to Zara because I need some different clothes because all of my clothes are too exposed. You guys, this is the literal exact mall of Egypt. The exact same thing. They have this exact snow. You can go skiing in here <laughs> because the Arabs, they, they, they want to experience <laughs> skiing and snowing here, right? In their home country. The same thing in Egypt. Snow Egypt. Cook them in my hotel room. <laughs> oh, look, they have the tricep oil here. They've got the tricep oil. Okay, bro, where's this made? What does that mean? Let's get 
rosemary mint. Where is this made? I always look first where it's made. Look at all the hair oils. This is my thing. The real omelet oil, huh? I already have plenty of that. It is so hot. Okay, I can't even see the ATM. No one takes card here. Everything's, mostly everything is cash. So I have to pay my taxi driver in cash. Look at that. I just got back to the hotel. I got this shirt. It's cute, right? Let's go. You always need a t-shirt, okay? I want to show you guys what I got from the mall. I went crazy on the hair oils because I actually had a girl helping me. I was like, all right, show me. Show me what, what are the hair oils in Oman that all the girlies are using. So I got from Carrefour <laughs> all the major oils. So I'm familiar with this oil. I've never had the green one before, but this is in the Veronto oil. It's cooling. You actually can use it to massage as well. You can use it if you're having like a headache or backache because it has a cooling effect. This is also popular in uh, Dubai, so I know about it. But the oil has Alma, Cinnamon, Vetiver, Thyme, Musk, False Daisy, Spiked ginger lily, clove, and stone, stone flower. And it's good for hair growth because it's cooling and it's got all that goodness in it. So I'm already familiar with that one, but I've never had the green one. The one I used before, the one that they happen to buy is, the one I always see is red. I also picked up eggs because I cook eggs. <laughs> I'm an egg, I need eggs every day, so I picked up some eggs. I have an egg cooker I travel with, portable. Of course, I got the real almond oil, you guys. You can only get the real deal in the Middle East. The ones I sell on Alibaba and on Amazon, and when you get in the US, it's the fake one. So I re-upped on that. I also got this, I don't think this is, has anything to do with the Middle East. Made in, yeah, this is just Garnier. You can get it anywhere, but I wanted to try it. Hair honey? Looks like honey, I don't know. Next thing, oh yeah, she recommended me this oil. She said it's super popular here in Oman and it's anti-fall hibiscus. They were all super cheap, by the way, but it's got like herbs inside, you see? chopped up herbs inside sitting in the middle of the oil. It's omelas, omelet and hibiscus. I'm very excited about that. I got another one. This one is Kumarika, I guess. It's gin jelly oil, red onion, jasmine, and pure coconut oil. This one also has herbs. You see that? Growth oil, hair nourishing hair growth oil. Made in Sri Lanka, it says made in Sri Lanka. Boom, that's what I got. And then this, I got this, has nothing to do with the Middle East. This is Pantene, I think it's everywhere. But I wanted to try it, Curl Tastic Conditioner, I don't know. And that's it. I'm not gonna order food. I'm going to, um, Get some work done. I have a lot of work to do on my laptop, so I think I'm gonna spend the rest of the day here at the hotel. I like staying in nice hotels because that when you stay at a nice hotel, I'm at the Kapinski right now. There's a lot to do on the hotel grounds. You know what I mean? Um, so there is a beautiful beach uh, here that is private for all the Kapinski people. I didn't go yesterday because I'll go when the sun goes down. 
There's also a beautiful gym and a beautiful like five, six different restaurants. Just ordered room service, which is actually a very cheap for me because I am a partner. Um, I'm a, I'm a member of this hotel chain, so all the food is like 40% off for me. So I don't mind ordering room service here. I ordered this yesterday and it was so good. This is fresh caught tuna from here in Oman, from the sea in Oman. I'm very picky about the tuna I eat because tuna can actually be really bad for you if you don't get it from the right place. So this tuna is fresh caught here. I had, like I said, I had this salad yesterday and it was so good. Yesterday I had, oh, that was complimentary. Blueberry cheesecake, I will be eating that. And this is uh, lemon for my soup. My I got lentil soup, which is in here, so. Yummy, I love lentil soup, especially in the Middle East. Lentil soup, and this is bread, which I won't be eating. I don't really eat bread like that. <laughs> Some chippies, oh, I guess that's bread. <laughs> Oh, moving too quick, MJ. You're moving too quick. Slow down. And some pepper. Yummers. And I'm going to do some emails and some salt. And yeah, that's cheesecake. This salad is so freaking good. I'm excited.